Android 5.1 rumored to arrive very soon, and we learn what changes. We get more leaks and claims of what to expect with the Galaxy S6 Edge, and Apple is already working on new uses for Touch ID. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, guys, thank you all very much for your birthday wishes. I read all of them. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's begin today with what's official. If you thought that BlackBerry was dead, it sort of is, but not necessarily. The company has just launched its BlackBerry Classic smartphone, and if it looks identical to every previous BlackBerry before it, that's because it is. We really haven't covered BlackBerry news in a long time, but this BlackBerry Classic phone looks like the original Bold 9900. And even though it's running its BlackBerry 10 operating system, there are some very interesting changes. In addition to better support for Android applications, it looks at the for full details and specifications. Now let's talk about Google, as uh, I know many of you still don't have Android 5.0 Lollipop, but uh, think again if you are expecting it, because 5.1 seems to be just around the corner, and this is going to be very different to Jelly Bean. In Jelly Bean, every .1 update was a major upgrade, and here apparently we're only getting a couple of changes, like better RAM management, uh, a better OK Google response, in addition to other changes when it comes to the silent mode, which are really interesting changes, but again, all minor. Expected for January, it seems. Let's talk about Samsung and mobile payments, as apparently the company is already working on getting into the business, but this time with a very different technology from a company called LoopPay. Apparently they're going to be licensing the technology, and the idea is that LoopPay is special because you don't need NFC to use it. But the question being is, what's the point of almost every Android smartphone right now has NFC? Apparently that's going to be the big selling point, and hopefully this is not just another Samsung gimmick, but we'll see. Up next, let's talk about Apple. This time, let's talk about Touch ID. We have some very interesting patents that were just revealed that shows that the company is looking for new uses for Touch ID, not necessarily just unlocking your phone. Uh, apparently, they are looking into finger gestures that you could use the Touch ID sensor, like for example, sliding to the right, left, or whatever, in a way that will allow you to uh, have more usage of the button than just pressing it or unlocking your phone. But sadly, patents for Apple are not necessarily guarantees. Let's see if we ever get it. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, let's talk about some Samsung Galaxy S6 rumors. First of all, remember, apparently the phone will be launched early next year, so early it probably won't be MWC, but apparently even though we've heard of so many variants of the Galaxy S6, the most interesting one today is that there are more possibilities of this phone being an Edge smartphone, you know, a Galaxy S6 Edge than anything else. And we're not sure that this is just a variant for specific regions, but we do know that the company does need to change things, even though we're not sure those Edge uh, designs are going to make it any better, and that really leads me to the question of the day. Uh, would a Galaxy S6 Edge, meaning that's the only variant that's going to be launched, if that were the design, would you buy it? Because in my case, I still find the Edge to be a gimmick, but leave us a comment down below. Probably you don't. Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.